Have you found her? We'll move fast. I am afraid I have some bad news, sir. Oh? Braddock is insisting I return to service under him. I've tried to beg off to no avail. No doubt he's still angry about losing Pitcairn. To say nothing of the shaming we gave him. Do as he asks. In the meantime, I'll work on having you released. I'm sorry for the trouble. Not your fault. We're too late. Fire's only just been snuffed. Snow recently disturbed. The tracks are fresh. It must be hers. Mm. Seems she took to higher ground. Out of the snow and into the trees. you return to Braddock, Charles, before he grows suspicious. I can handle things from here. But, sir! But nothing! Go! Stop! I am not your enemy! Please just hear me out! God's woman! Only let me speak! Enough with these vicious! I can handle things from here. But, sir! But nothing! Go! Stop running! I only wish to talk! I am not your enemy! Please just hear me out! God's woman! Only let me speak! Enough with these gifts! Try my patience, woman! Are you touched in the head? Me? Haytham, I come in peace. Why are you speaking so slow? That town hosts soldiers who seek to drive my people from these lands. They're led by a man known as the Bulldog. Edward Braddock. You know him? He is no friend of mine. I don't trust you. I know. Wait here. Stamping 
quartered there. The endless crashing of the waves, the sting of the salt in my eyes, and the goddamn gulls shrieking and shitting everywhere. You're sure that's where we're going? Aye. The Bulldog's putting together another expedition. Well, that's what they're calling them now. Expeditions. Aye. Smart too. Slap a fancy name on something and all evil is excused. Wonder what Braddock intends to do about it. He's already left for the advance camp. I'll wager our little holiday here is just about ended. We'll be marching south before week's end. God damn being quartered there. The endless crashing of the waves. The sting of the salt in my eyes. And the goddamn gulls shrieking and shitting everywhere. You're sure that's where we're going? Aye. The Bulldog's putting together another expedition. Well, that's what they're calling them now. Expeditions. Aye. Smart too. Slap a fancy name on something and all evil is excused. Oi! Where are you going? Use the snowstorm to mask your approach. Hmm. I can hide in that cart. Wow. 
What's in the wagon? I need a full inventory. As you wish. Uh, let's see. Two barrels of salt, 12 pounds pork, 10 pounds of beef, seven dozen eggs, 16 wheels of cheese. None of it French, don't worry. Five bottles of whiskey, a couple dozen new uniforms, boots, a leather for patching, blankets to cut feet for the horses. What else? That's it. That's all there is. Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. solution was no solution at all that allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict one in which they now have the upper hand There's merit to those words, as much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't he see this is unwise? He doesn't think so. And then it's on to Fort Duquesne, I assume? Eventually. The march north will surely take time. There's a copy of the plans in the command tent should you wish to review them. At least this will be ended soon. I tried, John. I know, my friend. I know. That map will surely be of use. I need to find it.
What news? Braddock has left to rally his troops. They're marching on Fort Duquesne. It'll be a while yet till they're ready. Which could... In the cold, cold ground. First it was too cold. Now it's too goddamn hot. And humid too. It's a right swamp, I tell you. Uh, to say nothing of the mosquitoes. Warm weather and bugs are soon to be the least of our worries. What? You mean the bulldog? <laughs> Please. We'll be in that one's beef soon enough and onto the next. Where's your boy Lee gone off to? Returned to finish out his service under Braddock. I imagine the bulldog's none too pleased after the stunt we pulled. Pleased to spin a tale of my incompetence and beg forgiveness. He is away with words, especially when it comes to flattery. I expect he'll be welcomed back with open arms. Which would give us a man inside. Precisely. Unless you've underestimated our enemy. If I have, Charles. They come. Everything all right? We await your signal. There, in front of us. How could anyone call this forest home? It's all mud and bugs and monstrous things. I'm telling you, we've packed the cart too high. The ground the is uneven. The French pushback there will be a lot of opportunities for us. Edward. Not so fun on the other end of the barrel, is it? Look out! Sir.
I never took you for a coward, Edward. Come on, then! I don't deserve this! You're up! Your death opens a door. It's nothing personal. Well, maybe it is a little personal. Been a pain in my ass, after all. But we are brothers in arms. Once, perhaps. No longer. Do you think I've forgotten what you did? All those innocents slaughtered, and for what? It does not engender peace to cut your way to resolution. Wrong. Whether we applied the sword more liberally and more often, the world would be a better place. It's done. You all saw that, right? Wow. Wow, indeed. The key must be the amulet Haytham took from London. We might know what it looks like, but we're no closer to finding it. Desmond, you need to keep going. Hey, he's your ancestor, too. Why don't you hop in the Animus? Really? That's your response? It's like dealing with a six-year-old. What is wrong with you, Desmond? You want to know what's wrong? I'm sick of being treated like I'm not even here. Desmond, do this. Desmond, do that. Desmond, you better figure things out because the sun is going to turn us all to ash. And I know I was really nice to you, but actually I'm just another Templar plot twist. And yes, I would like very much for you to be controlled by a magic space wizard so that you can murder me. So there's your answer. I'm sick of being a goddamn pawn. I thought it might be different with you. I mean, you're my father, but turns out you're no better than the fucking Templars. <clears throat> Don't you ever equate me to those bastards again. You hear me? Everything I do, everything I have done, has been for you. Maybe I pushed a little too hard, asked a little too much, but try and remember exactly what's at stake here. You need to get it together, kid. We're running out of right. time. Right, that was unusual. Well, I'm just gonna pretend that this never happened and get back to bringing everyone up to speed on where we stand. The news isn't good. It appears this temple is powered by a collection of, um... All right. Here goes. Unda hit stun you. A wira a wa unde yard on jadagun. Tone word a nagara de. Desajera nero niha. Nekti yate humoya tane kera. Azekan de jajera oni. Nekti ya o tena de gari wastakwe. A gungwe da sun a wahuan nordun quedzi niot ne sagode o gunga. Zewajera sri at dizax ne hatham. Raganero quaque unte zinito guenu. Nek zi o hondo yo ha wihtum ya de haganeraque. Zinuero joqua templar aguego tadinero darhox. Ne on ha at getsanis. Zigat get soon a rian a higunsa gandanu a got gato zine sagara sconex.
is it one day star? The <laughs> Zadodasi. What have we here? Have I seen you before? That wasn't very nice. Let me go! <laughs> Listen to that. He knows English. It's not for savage. You're spirited too!
Oh, Naga, Issa. Doctor, what can you do? Say, Gunda, get a quasi-wahi. 